Yeah, whenever you're ready, I'll go for it. Hey guys, how you doing? How do you like my brand new, well not brand new, because it's second hand stuff mostly, Shade House. Pretty cool, eh? Good use of space. I paid for the shade cloth and the cable tights. Everything else we had here. So I got some old poly pipe, um, got some metal rods. I don't know if you can see, the metal rods are stuck up in them to stick in the ground. And then I just found bits like, that's an old shower, you know, rail. So I drilled that into the wall, stuck it to it, put up some irrigation, drilled a hole in the fence, which you probably, you know, you wouldn't want to do it home all the time, but you know, we had a tap on the other side of the fence and it, and it, it works. Won't turn it on because it's on the other side, which is a bit of a funny thing. You've got to go around and turn the tap on, but still. Now, the reason I built this shade house is because I'm going to do some seeds, some native seeds. We're going to try and grow them for the council. And the council will give you guys, June, July, August, sometime, plants to put in your backyard. So I've got two different types. I've got uh, a fringe myrtle, and these seeds need smoking to get them germinated. And then I've also got a uh, silver cassia. These seeds need scouring. I'm gonna show you what that is. So, this funny looking water here is smoked water. So, instead of lighting a fire to get the smoke going through a smoker to get these seeds going, you can fool them. So, you get a tray, holds water. I'm gonna pour some in. It's got a good smell to it, El, it doesn't smell, it? It smoke. smells like, um, it smells... like ham, like smoked ham or something it like that. It does, it does. smells very smoky. Beautiful. Where'd you get the water from, El? So, you can buy it commercially, um, but I got it from a friend at uh, the Wagga Nursery, Shane. He's a good bloke, you should go and say hello. <laughs> if I can get this open, with my, excuse me, trusty teeth. I will pick up that plastic in, <laughs> in a second. <laughs> Just realised what I did. I will pick up that plastic once this filming is That's over. Cool. <laughs> so, you just need to soak these. So I'm gonna get them out. Each year. Now the mixture to this liquid, to water, is 100 to one. So, basic, basically, 10 mils, I'm not sure if that's right, 100 to one, 10 mils, of be a liter to 100 mils yeah 10 mils of the water this stuff to 100 mils of water that's that's one to ten one to ten yeah Thank you for the mass thanks mate no worries all right so i learned something at school <laughs> get these out so i'm gonna oh they're spiky look at that ow oh really <laughs> they're like little thorns are they they are wow well, that's what seeds are designed to do aren't they Seeds are designed to stick to you, so they travel all over the place oh. and spread. When you walk past them, so that would be um, people or animals as well, I'm guessing. Totally, animals yeah. first, because yeah. they came first, didn't they? For us, as far as I can tell. So I don't know. It's, it's all. The, I suppose it's an area under research at the moment. <laughs> isn't it? I'm going to soak them in that. I'm going to put some water in this as well, which I don't have here, but I'm going to fill them up. Basically, you know, cover them in water, immerse them in water for 12 hours. And that hopefully will pollinate them. Get them nice and wet. And then I'll put water in as well. Okay, so that's the stuff you have to do. So that wasn't already diluted. That, no, okay, you've no. still got so to next, dilute it. The next it. stage yeah. is you know, I'll just fill it, fill this up tray with water. Yeah. You know, that much over the seed. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. But I'm just gonna leave them that for the minute just to suck up all the beautiful beautiful smokiness and get it right in the seed before I add and water to it. how long did you it? say they'll sit in the water for again? 12. 12, 12 hours. hours. 12 hours. Yeah. And then I would put them in here, and that's tomorrow. But these guys need scouring. So scouring is basically scratching the surface. So is that the silver cassia else? It is. Yep. So again, my, look, I kept that one. Yeah, I thought you would. My trusty teeth smell and taste like smoked ham now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll just put these on this newspaper here, actually, I think. So yeah. I've ripped up a bit of 240 newspaper, yeah. uh, sandpaper. Put them on here. So I'm just gonna, 
Have some of these guys. Uh, just give them a bit of a sand. It does, it does take a bit of time. How many you got in there, Al? Oh, I've got a lot of packets. So how many in the in the sandpaper here? Currently I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. But you could do more. You just want to scratch the surface of them, just break the surface a bit so they start absorbing water. Turn them over. They say when you start to see a bit of a white powder coming off them, they will be ready, but you don't want to break the surface too much. Okay, so the next stage, you won't see they're a bit, uh, as you can tell they're a bit. Just, hold on, let me just get to, the, take me a second to focus here. Just that one's gone a bit second. rougher and it's a bit white on the edges. Hold on, can you turn around so it's in the light there, Al? Like, yeah, That's cool. Right. See how it's a bit scuffed, a bit white on the edges? Hold on, just stop moving it so I can. See that whiteness? No, not yet. Just, just hold on. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can just see it. Scuff. So you could go a little bit further, but I don't want to go too much because if you sandpaper past the actual outer layer and then into the seed itself, the seed's stuffed. It won't grow. Yeah. So basically, then you're just going to make a well. With your finger. Put one in. And we'll cover it. Okay, let's pay attention to how far apart you're putting these. Uh, where'd I put that one there? So probably a centimetre or two apart. Yeah. And not too not in, not too deep into the surface. Yeah. So I'll try and see if I can see the little... So I've kind of put one there. Yeah. I'll put one there. Yeah. I'll put one there. Yeah. Pretty much. Cool, that'll be fine. And this is... Uh, is this your traditional veggie garden mix here, Eld, or is there more no, sand No, so you can this? see all the sand in it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's all the white bits. Yeah. So basically I've got some, you know, old mulch, a um, little bit of manure and sand. I mixed it all through. Yeah. Uh, and I've just got one of these trays. I've just lined it with some shea cloth so it doesn't leak. Yeah. I'm going to water it. I'm going to try and yeah. keep it warm, keep it keep it moist. And hopefully within a week or two, they'll start to shoot. So that, that's because it's a native mix. It's not a veggie garden mix. It's not, not sort of as highly new, like nutrient. Nitrogen. doesn't have much nitrogen in it. A little bit. If you give give too much, they they just don't like it. They like a little bit, but not not too much. Yeah, they like sandier, right. sandier, clayier soils, yeah. and when they're in the ground. So the plan is to grow these to about. I'll give you more videos as we go along as they grow, but grow these to about that height or something in the tray. Then we'll prick them out and put them into tubes. Yeah. And then they'll get to about that height in the tube, and then that's when you guys will get them. It's when the council yeah. will get them, and then the council will pass them on. That's pretty much it. Okay. Well, good luck, Elton. It's nice and warm in here. Beautiful. I it might, is quite warm. I might, I might the, just, no. I might just, you know, oh, I might sunbake. Sunbake as well, along yeah. with your, um, <laughs> along with your seeds. I was yeah, scared right. Ben then, I was unbuttoning my shirt. <laughs> and then when, when, you guys don't want to see my chest hairs, do you? Probably not. No. no. Um, yeah, cool. All right, well, good luck with everything out and we'll, we'll Thanks, tune mate. in with you next time. Any questions, give us a yell. Okay. Have fun. Bye.